Welcome to... Booster Busters! I have myself a fresh box of War of the Spark. And we're gonna rip open some packs. Why am I doing this, you might ask? Because I love to open packs. And I figured you might also enjoy me. I will try to replicate the experience of opening packs so you also can enjoy this. And I really need to zoom out my camera. We're gonna go through it. Every single card, every single pack. I'm splitting this up into several videos. So here we go, the top three packs. Three packs. What will be? We got ourselves a Teferi, Tefara, a Liliana, two Liliana packs actually. Now let's exchange one. Hey, there's Gideon here. So what's super cool about War of the Spark is that there's Planeswalkers in every single pack. So I'm super excited. Okay, let's open Liliana, ladies first. Hee <laughs> Come on. If I can't, there we go. Okay. Cosmina's Transmutation. Enchant creature, enchanted creature loses all abilities and has base power and toughness 1-1. One, one. Wow, that's really cool. Removal for one in a blue. Goblin Assault Team for three and a red. That's a 4-1 with haste. When a Goblin Assault Team dies, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. Ew, not very good at all. Failure. Ironclad Crovod. It's a beast. Three and a white. It's a two, three. That is pretty not good. Ugh, Spellkeeper Weird. Ooh, it's a weirdo. For two and a blue. It's one, four. Tap two and a Spellkeeper Weird. Sacrifice. Spellkeeper Weird. Return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, ooh, there's a fiery weird in the background here. Yes, that's going into that pile. New Horizons for two and a green. Enchant land. It's an aura. When New Horizons enters the battlefield, plus a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. Enchanted land has tap add two mana of any one color. Very nice. That's going in my good pile. Trash pile, good pile. Aid the Fallen. One and a black. Choose one or both. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Return target planeswalker card from your graveyard to your hand. That will be very good in this deck. Primordial Worm for green green. It's a 7-6. That is not very good. Kaya's Ghost Form. Just one black. Enchant creature or planeswalker you control. When enchanted permanent dies or is put into exile, return that card to the battlefield under my control. Ooh, very nice. So that's like save from death. That's definitely going in the good pile. And then we have Banehound for a black. It's a 1-1 one, one with lifelink and haste. That is very nice. That might be going to popper. If I get four of those, I might make a popper deck with these stuff. And here we have giant growth. Plus three, plus three for green. Very nice. Here we have D Spock. White and black. Exile target permanent with converted mana cost four red. Ooh, it's a permanent, so that will get rid of some planners walkers. It's going into the good pile. Tenth district legionnaire, red and white. Two two with haste. Whenever you cast a spell that targets tenth district legionnaire, put a plus one plus one counter on tenth district legionnaire. That's cry one. So that's a lot like heroic, except it doesn't say heroic. That is pretty cool. Uh, it's not, 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 not that good, I'd say, maybe, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Let me put it into the trash pile. Oopsie. Okay, I got an island and a zombie army token. Very interesting. Put it outside over here. Okay. Now, before I reveal the Planeswalker, I'm going to reveal the rare, which is Karn's Bastion. Very nice. Land, tap one, add a colorless, or tap four and Darn's Bastion to proliferate. Very, very good. Going to the good pile. Okay. 
We have Dovin, Hand of Control, for two and a white or blue. He has five loyalty if artifacts, instants, and sorcery spells your opponent's cast cost one more to cast. Neg one. Until your next turn, prevent all damage that would be dealt to and dealt by target permanent and opponent controls. Very, very nice. You're going right there. On to pack number two. Tear you open inside. Trash. Trash. Okay, we have a goblin token. And another island card. It's very sweet. Kiora's Dam Breaker. When it enters the battlefield, oh, it's a 5 and a blue for a 5 6. With when it enters the battlefield, proliferate. This will be interesting for some flickering. It's not that good in Commander, because that's what I play. So, no. Raging Kronk. Raging Kronk can't tack alone, so it's a 4-3 for 2 and a red. Gideon, sacrifice for a white. Choose a creature or planeswalk you control. All damage that would be dealt to this turn to me and permanence I control is dealt to the chosen permanent instead. Very interesting. I might use that. Teferi's Time Twist. One in a blue. Exile target permanent you control. Oh, I control. Return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. If it enters the battlefield as a creature, it enters with an additional plus one plus one counter. Very interesting. Huh. Steady aim for one in a green. Untapped target creature gets plus one plus one and reach until end of turn. Aid of the Fallen. Choose one or both. We already went over this card. Spark Harvest for a black. As an additional cost to cast the spell, sacrifice a creature or play three in a black. Destroy target creature or planes walker. Very interesting. I might use that. Tap target permanent. Topple the statue. Two and a white. Tap target permanent. If it's an artifact, destroy it. Draw a card. Interesting. I might use that. Giant growth. Spell Lord, you're weird. Ooh, interesting. It's a fire dude. It's two and a red for a two two. Whenever you cast a non creature spell, put a plus one plus one counter on Spell Gorge or Weird. Very interesting. Indeed. Hmm. Paradise Druid, one in a green. It has hex proof so long as it's untapped, and you tap to add one man of any color. This will be some good ramp in my commander decks. Elite Guild Mage. Two and a three for a two white blue. Flying. When there's a battlefield, you gain three life and draw a card. That will be pretty good and limited. And now the rare I have is single combat. Three white white. Each player chooses a creature or planeswalker they control. And then sacrifices the rest. Players can't crash creature or planeswalker spells until the end of your next turn. Very nice. Very cool board wipe. And now I have Kiora, Behemoth Beckoner. Whenever a creature with power four greater enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. Minus one untapped target permanent. I'm just gonna put them all in the same stack because <laughs> no point in uh, separating them out because I'm just cracking it for fun. Seeing if I get any interesting, cool stuff. Ah, oh, final pack, bros. Uh-oh, I'm having trouble. Oh, there we go. If only their cards were as tough as the packs. Woo! I got a citizen token. Two two. This creature is all colors. Interesting. And I have a mountain. Bulwark Giant. Five and a white for three six. When Bulwark Giant enters the battlefield, you gain five life. 
Kiora's Dam Breaker. Again, Raging Kronk. Spark Reaper, two and a black. Three. Two, three. You pay three, sacrifice a creature or planeswalker, gain a life and draw a card. That is interesting. That might be good and limited. Forest Landing. Put target creature with flying on the bottom of its owner's library. One and a green. Shriek Diver. Two on the black. Zombie Bad Warrior. It's a two and a one with a flying ability. Pay one. Shriek Diver gains haste until end of turn. Courage in Crisis, two and a green. Put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature and then proliferate. Gateway Plaza enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters a battlefield, sacrifice it unless you pay one add on mana of any color. Arlene's Wolf. It's a 3-2 three, for 3 and a green, and it can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less. So, is chump block proof. 5 and a white for a 3-3 three, three angel. Sunblade angel. Flying, first strike, vigilance, lifelink. That might actually be a really powerful card. I have no idea. It's lifelink, so it gains your life. Vigilance, which means an attack and defense. First strike and flying. Very interesting. It's very offensive. Rescuer Sphinx, two blue blue, three two with flying. As Rescuer Sphinx enters the battlefield, you may return a non-land permanent you control to its owner's hand. If you do, Rescuer Sphinx enters the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on it. Woo! Oh, we have a foil spell key spare weird. Very interesting. Put on your side. Now we have Finale of Eternity. It's a mythic. Destroy up to three target creatures with toughness X or less. If X is ten or more, return all creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. And then we have Tybalt, Rakish Instigator. Two in red, five loyalties. Your opponents can't gain life. Create a 1 1 red devil creature token with when this creature dies, it deals one damage to any target. Very nice. Uh, I will see you in the next one. My throat is really dry, I'll admit. Let's see. What is the best card? Probably Finale of Eternity, definitely. That is amazing for Commander players. What is the best limited card in this set? Kiora, Behemoth Beckoner, perhaps? Nah, that's just good in Commander. Single combat, combat is great for Commander. Paradise Shrew is great in Commander. Giant Growth, definitely the best card for uh, the single format stuff. Karn's Bastion will be good for this set as a whole. Elite Guard Mage, that is really good for this limited. Alright, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.